Yo, what's happening? Welcome back to another van conversion video. And I know what you're thinking, but Jake, you're not even in the van. And so now it's story time. I got, I got to tell you what happened here. So in the last van conversion video, you saw the whole installation of the Max fan. The only thing I left out was the wiring, which we did the same day, but there was some issues. And so I'm doing this video separate, so that way we can kind of go over some of the issues I had, and maybe that's something that you might face when you're going to install your Max fan also. I had some power issues, but first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over the footage of how I got this thing wired up, and then uh, we'll get into what happened to it after that, and uh, the solution also. So stay tuned to the end if you wanna know how to fix your power issue with your Max fan. So with installing your max fan on the door, you're going to need to run that wiring into the van to where your power setup is. Luckily with the ProMaster vans, you've got this black panel here where all the wiring already runs for that door latch from the van to the door latch. So you've already got a good place where you can go ahead and run your wiring through. You're just going to have to remove all those retainers all the way around that black panel. Now with that black panel off, you'll see inside there that black rail that runs across the middle. Inside of that is a tube where you'll see the wiring for the door latch running through into the van. You'll see on the upper left part of the door, there's already a hole there where we ran the wiring through into the inside of the door. Now we splice in some wire to reach the batteries. We had to add in a decent bit of wire to reach to where the batteries are. You may need a wire to pull that wiring through the tube. In the end, I ended up just pushing the wire through but I did have to do them one at a time. There's where the wire goes from that tube and into the van. Then it just runs through this panel at the back. And out of the hole right here. And then from there, around the bed frame and down to the batteries. Here's the fan finally working. I got it in March or April. It is now August and it is just now working. Here's the rest of the wiring down to the batteries and the solution to the power problem. So here's what the problem was. Those fans are very picky. When they say 12 volts, they can only take between 12.5 and 13.5 volts. On a good day, your solar batteries, your, your solar setup should be charging around 14.5. So if you hook up that 14.5 to that fan, it's gonna fry your circuit board, or at least that breaker inside of the circuit board. And so you have to find a way to limit it to 12 to 13.5 volts or else the fan won't work and you'll fry that circuit board and so I have the solution to that and here's the solution to the power problem this is a DC to DC converter it will take anything from 9 to 36 volts and it will only put out 12 volts 5 amps I'll have that linked down below We did go ahead and put a 7.5 amp fuse there just to be sure that we're not going to have any issues. It took a really long time to get this fan going because that problem with the circuit board, the circuit board was bad now after I had hooked it up to 14.5 volts. And uh, I contacted the company, they're really cool, and uh, they decided they're going to send me a new circuit board. Problem is, shipment issues. Those circuit boards are sitting overseas on a ship, they don't even have them. They're on back order, the company that I bought the fan from. They just don't have the circuit board. There was nothing they could do. And so all summer I waited and waited. Finally, when I called them again for like the third or fourth time, they are like, you know what? We're going to go ahead and send you a new fan. We have the fan sitting here in stock, so we'll just send you a brand new fan, which is really cool of them. And so I was able to swap out 
just the part I needed and get the fan going with that new with that piece that will uh, only allow 12 volts to come out from my batteries to the fan. All right, so there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I was able to help somebody out. Hopefully, well, not hopefully you had the same problem as me, but hopefully if you did, you were able to gain something from this. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you are not already and you'd like to, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. You don't want to miss out on any future videos like this if you enjoy. All that good stuff. Thanks again, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.